Hi everybody, it's Sam here and I'm back with another Scrap It video. So I've got a scraps playlist, so if you do have lots of scraps and you're thinking what to do with them, check that out and it might give you some inspiration. But today I'm going to show you the Starburst effect. I have seen this around for a long time, but the, um, a lady called Claire who was on the Trimcraft design team, she used to always do a lot of Starburst and um, I wanted to you know, give it a go and share it on, on my channel. So these are the ones that I've made. Now I've done one here where I've joined them right up and although I like the effect, I don't think it gives you that real starburst look. Whereas if you see on these two here, I've left a white space and I think that really does just make it a little bit more special and a bit more of an impact. So I'm doing mine all on six by six, but you can do this on any size card. I'll just talk through kind of adapting the lengths and the widths if that's what you want to do. And I'm just making these as some simple thank you cards. So, so let's get into the video and I'll show you how to do them. Okay, so I have raided my scraps and um, I have basically cut these pieces here, okay? So these are one and a half by four and I found that to be the, the a really nice size to use on a six by six card. Now if you want to do five by seven or smaller or wider, then I would just say extend the length, but the one and a half width is really good. So like I said, just extend the lengths and you can change them. And you'll find that you'll just need longer lengths when you hit the corners, shorter when you come round here. And that will make sense once I start putting it together. So this is the six by six size here. Now what I also find might help is if you actually break your um, space here into four quarters. Now you can also have this, you don't have to have your centre point in the centre, you can have you could have it all starting down here, you could have a starburst coming right from this bottom line and all of the, the pieces come up and come off the top here. In that case you would need you know one and a half by seven inches because or six and a half because you want to make sure it's going to come off the edge and then you just trim around it. So like I said once I start putting this together hopefully it will make sense and then you can just go and cut any lengths that you want. But what I would suggest you do is just mark the halfway point here. So this is a shop brought card blank, so it's just under six inches. So it's just under three inches is the halfway. So I'm just putting a little pencil mark there because you can rub this out. But I think if you haven't done this before, just giving yourself these little four segments will just help you keep everything placed correctly. So yeah, I just recommend putting this in just very lightly just so you get that centre point, like so. And like I said, I can rub this out, but some of it you don't end up seeing anyway. Next, so I've got all of my scraps here. This is from a first edition paper pad, and they're actually double-sided as well, so I might end up flipping some of them. But what I'm gonna do first of all is start off in this section here, and I'm just going to, this is the point, and I'm just gonna sit it in the centre point there, and I'm gonna run it along that pencil line, like so. So I'm just going to grab some glue, I'm not going to go right to the end there, I'm just going to focus on the point. I'm using the cloud just so I've got that, that wiggle time really, because you will find that you might adjust this as you go around. So I'm just going to, I'm going to come away from the centre just a little bit because you actually want to leave a little bit of a white space. I mean you're going to cover it anyway, but that would just continue the pattern that way. And then I'm going to get the next one. And again, I'm just going to add my glue and then I'm going to sit this one in this just above, like so. You'll get four in this segment. So let's do, yeah, let's do this pattern and then I'll change and put the polka dot maybe on the other side. And then this one again, just come away slightly giving yourself that same white space. And then I'm gonna do, actually I'm gonna, yeah, no, and then I'm gonna do the blue because then that'll sit next to, next to that mirrored card again. And then this one will go in like so. And then just, I can afford to move that up a little bit like so. So I've got the same white gap there as I've got here, here and here. But by just focusing on that one corner, I think it's much easier because otherwise you can probably see now how you could quite easily maybe have too much of a white gap there. And before you know it, you might be short um, by the time you come around to this side and you might not be able to fit another segment in if that's what you wanted to do. But now you can see I've got one of my corners. So next I'm going to go back to this one again and I'm going to 
focus on that pencil line again. Again, just leave a little bit of a gap away from the centre, that same kind of white gap, like so, and just repeat. Okay, so that's that done. Also, one other thing, when you do cut them, make sure you cut them all the same. So if you're going to do top left to bottom right, make sure you do them all. And that means all your segments will be the same orientation. So there you can see that one's done. So I've done the polka dot there. So what I'm going to do is make sure that that one is opposite that one. And then I'll do the polka dot opposite that one. So I'm going to continue now until I join back up here. Okay, so that's now all done and um, I just had to cut some more scraps actually and these were only three inches but because of where it's positioned it's, it's you know worked fine but now I'm going to flip this over make sure I've not stuck my card together and then I'm just going to trim I always like to trim it from the back because that way you can line your scissors right up with the side of the card and you can see exactly where you're cutting and you get a really nice finish Okay, so now you can really see that star vest effect. I love that shiny cardstock as well. I think it works really well. And then I'm just finishing it off with my thank you sentiments. So I've already stamped this one here, which is from the Creative Stamps Thank You Key Worker set. It's really nice if you do have anybody who is a key worker during these difficult times. This stamp set's lovely. It's got some really nice um, sentiments there. So um, yeah, if you do want to send any out, and then that one is going to go right across there. I'll just trim the sides, but I'm going to pop it with a bit of foam. Now, if you do have any pencil showing, and um, you don't want that to be seen. I mean, that's actually going to be hidden under there, so I don't need to worry about that. You can't see it there, and you can't see it there, so I don't need to worry about that at all. But this is going to go just along the centre, so I'm just going to grab some of my foam, and I'm actually going to add the foam along the card because you could add ribbon. Obviously, there's you know you could you could make these as beautiful backgrounds and then cut them to size and mat and layer them on your you know your fancy cards. It's almost like you're making your own patterned paper with this technique. But it's a lovely one to just sit down, pop a movie on. It's a really easy thing to do. You know, you don't have to think too much at all. So now I'm just going to pop that down in the centre. And again, just flip the back, flip it over and just trim off the sides like so. Okay, so there's my three starbursts. You can see they're all slightly different, but they all have the... Well, these two here have the four segments in each corner. This one was the first one that i done. I was playing around and it still works. You can see I've got three, but these were two inches wide by four inches so it just gives you a different effect again and you get three segments in the corner and then this one here again these were two inches wide but joined up um, and um, it's kind of starts to overlap you can see there's kind of one two three four in that corner then three and then this one it's got four again and then three so you know slightly different you'll see this one slightly coming off down like off to the left a little bit um, but try it out have your starting point here like I said you don't have to divide it into the four segments you could have your segments so that they are you know down here and then across here so your point your center points actually here and then start your starburst and have your sentiment over there there's lots of ways to do this check out Pinterest tons of inspiration on there but I'm really pleased with these simple ones for now but it's something I will definitely be doing in the future but thank you for watching check out my scraps playlist because there's more inspiration on there as well and I'll be back very soon with another tutorial Bye.